it's Rebecca with Bex Fine Art and the Idea Museum and today we're going to be doing finger painting with foam paint. So it's very similar to our marble paper only this time we're actually going to mix up the colors and then do some fun finger painting with them. So let's go ahead and take a look at our supplies. Alright, so for our foam finger painting, these are the supplies you'll need, which you probably already have from the marble paper. So we have our foamy um, shaping cream, some liquid watercolor or food coloring, either one, a rubber glove, and then a few little bowls to mix your foam in. And then last will be some watercolor paper. All right, so I have my mixing bowls, and for this I'm just gonna use four colors, keep it relatively simple, and also for those of you that are using food coloring, you probably only have the pack of four colors anyways. So I'm gonna squirt my shaving cream in each container. So satisfying to watch. And then I'm going to drip my watercolor in the shaving cream and mix it up. So I'm wearing my rubber glove, and you really don't need a lot of your food coloring or watercolor, so just add a few drops to your shaving cream. Again, another satisfying thing to watch. And then I'm going to attempt to mix it up with my fingers, so we'll make some blue foam. So as you're mix mixing, if you feel like it's too light, you can definitely add some more. So we want this to be pretty saturated because otherwise the color won't actually stick to our paper. bit more of the blue. blue and the pink are probably going to need a lot more since those I sprayed out way more shaving cream. Okay. You also probably want to have some paper towels handy so you can wipe off your fingers before you mix your next color because we don't want to end up with goopy gross colors. just wipe this all the way around you can see that it does actually paint on the paper if you don't wipe it down you will have a 3d painting when you're done so it will stay nice and poofy it doesn't totally dry so if you were to touch it tomorrow it will smush down 
but it does really make this kind of cool 3D effect. it off look at that isn't that so awesome all right so have fun with this make some rainbows or just make some really cool abstract paintings whatever color you put down first is the one that's going to show up the most on your paper all right all right guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video and i look forward to seeing you all next time as usual make sure that you subscribe and